Hello again. In this lesson, we will be learning about action verbs. Firstly, what is a verb? A verb shows an action or state of being. Be verbs indicate a state of being. So, what the subject or subject's action about themselves is, the verbs must also match the subject or subjects. The subjects can be split into different groups. For example, I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Then the be verbs follow the subject in the sentence. For example, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. As a recap, the be verbs are am, are and is. Action verbs, however, express actions and are the most common verbs. Here are some examples. Run, sleep, smell, feel, play, watch. Now have a look at the extra S. When a subject verb follows a subject that is either a third person or singular subject, then an extra S is needed at the end. This is the rule for he, she and it. The structure is verb plus S is equal to verb. Similarly, eat plus s is equal to eat. Examples are, he eats chocolate. It sinks in the water. She walks in the park. Now have a look at negative sentences. When a sentence becomes negative, it includes the word not. But if an action is involved, then the word do is also needed. Therefore, if the sentence is negative and has an action verb, then you use for I, you, we, they, we use do not. For he, she, it, we use does not. And the extra S goes on do and not the verb. Or did not for all. For example, I do not eat chocolate. He does not walk. You did not speak. It does not sink. Now let's have a look at interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences are questions involving subjects, so people or things. In sentences that are interrogative sentences and include action verbs, then they begin with do, does or did. For I, you, we, they, it is do, then object, then question mark. He, she, it, does, then object, then question mark. The extra S goes on do and not the verb or did then object then question mark for all. Remember one thing, the question mark at the end is must for interrogative sentences. For example, do you eat chocolate? Question mark. Does he walk? Question mark. Do you speak? Question mark. Did it sink? Let's join the words. Some words can be joined together to form just one word. This is called abbreviation and we use an apostrophe to show this. For example, do not can be shortened to don't, does not to doesn't and did not to didn't. For I, you, we, they, we use don't. For he, she, it, we use doesn't. The extra S goes on do and not the verb or didn't for all. For example, I don't eat chocolate, he doesn't walk, you didn't speak, it doesn't sink.